One of the key bits of news overnight was some talk from the Federal Reserve Governor Ben Bernanke who was talking about lifting the discount rate back up from levels that it has been set at during the crisis. Now the federal funds rate is the equivalent to our official cash rate, it basically dictates the overnight cost of money between banks. The discount rate is a rate that the Federal Reserve sets above the federal funds rate if banks want to borrow from the Federal Reserve. So before the crisis there used to be a differential of 100 basis points of the discount rate above the federal funds rate. During the crisis they cut that differential to about 25 basis points to encourage people to borrow money. Now that things are getting a bit more normal, the Federal Reserve is now looking at readdressing that differential and looking to push it back up to a, a more normal differential again. Now that did cause a little bit of disquiet with markets, even though the Federal Reserve Governor did stress that the change has got nothing to do with the tightening of monetary policy. So we did see equity markets fall in the US, so we pushed down below that 10,000 mark on the Dow, but things did rebound to be roughly unchanged. Currencies got affected a little bit as well. The US dollar did strengthen for a while before retreating, so that did affect our currency. We saw the New Zealand dollar drop down to about 69 cents against the US dollar, and it has rebounded somewhat up to about 69.40. We have been making some changes to our financial market forecasts. One change is that we now think it's more likely that the Reserve Bank here will lift the cash rate in June rather than April, our previous thinking. We do expect 25 point moves. A lot of work we've been doing suggests that gradual moves are going to be the better option when you're a little bit uncertain exactly what impact the official cash rate lifts will have. So a lot of the news we've seen recently, unemployment high, likely to mean that wage pressures are low, but particularly the housing market looking like it's slowing down are some of the things that have influenced our thinking. It's also quite clear that the talk of tax changes has been influencing potential property investors and current property investors, and that may well contribute to the housing market softening a lot more than what we had anticipated. The Reserve Bank will be comfortable if the housing market looks like it slows and they'll be very comfortable if they see credit growth remaining quite weak. So it does look like the urgency to lift interest rates has dissipated. So our viewers now will see the Reserve Bank hiking from June and that the cash rate will eventually lift to around 5% level. So lower than what we have seen and by historical standards.